What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm going on. I'm back in this thing with another video, bruh. So look, today, bruh, I got something for y'all going to college, man. Everybody that's going to college or needs some tips or want to know something, you getting ready to go to school in the fall or you just got some questions that you want to know now, bruh. I'm going to go ahead and educate y'all, bro. This is five things you need to know before you go to college. Look, I know y'all like, man, why do I need to know this? There's a whole bunch of other videos on YouTube. I can go search these other ones. Cuz, bro, this is shit that you not going to really just be thinking about. It's the little thing that you don't think about, bro. So, look, the first thing, 8 a.m.s in college, bro? No. Don't fucking do that stupid shit, bro. I'm telling you. That shit is dumb. It ain't for everybody. Some people can do it, but I'm telling you, if you are not mentally prepared to get up at 7 in the morning, walk to class if you don't have a call, and sometimes that bitch be fall. So, I'm letting y'all know now, that shit is not meant for everybody, bro. You're going to be out doing shit the day before. Sometimes it's going to be parties on fucking weekdays, and it's everything that you, bro, it's like, hey, I'm telling you, 8 a.m.s, that shit is not it. Don't, don't do that shit. I'm telling you, you're going to set yourself up. You're going to be getting up every morning. I'm telling you, I've been there. I had AAM my freshman year, bro. Luckily, I didn't need the class for a credit in another school. But I'm telling you, bro. I woke up. A lot of times, I'm like, man, I wasn't strong enough mentally. I wouldn't. I wake up. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I ain't going. <laughs> hey, bro, I don't care how much you care about school, bro. I'm telling you, that 8 AM shit, you going to miss a class. I'm telling you. So, look, number two. Or oh, number four, whichever way you want to do it. Because I am going to order, like, most important. Bruh, do not overwhelm yourself with too many fucking hours, bruh. You're going to get to choose your classes. You're going to get to choose probably, like, English. You, most times, you don't do, do credit. You probably go, like, English 1302, math, etc. Do not overwhelm yourself with too many hours. Unless you know what you're getting yourself into, you're going to be, like I said, there's going to be other shit to do on campus. I don't care what you say now. you be like, I don't go to parties. I don't do this. Hey, I was the same way in college. I, hey. I ended up going to a few parties. I had fun. I was always out the dorm. You're going to need that time, extra time to do homework. Hey, bro, I ain't going to lie. If you just want to see how you're going to be able to handle it, you probably want to start with 12, but make sure you still, like, go 12 to 14. Just to, just to keep it on the safe side. 15, like, that's what you should do. Like, that's the minimum requirement for, like, if you don't. It's, like, pretty much like going to high school. Like, you take seven classes, you pretty much 15 hours your standard, like, high college shit. So, just to be on the safe side, if you just want to test it, see how you would do with 15. Because some people like to do, like, small hours during the fall, then make sure they just go to school all year. Some people rather do that. So, hey, it's up to you. Choose what you want to do. But, understand, do not overwhelm yourself, bro. I think the most they let you do is 20 or something like that. That shit is, hey, that's a lot of classes, bro. That's probably, like, seven classes in college. Homework is a bitch, bro. <laughs> essays, and depending on your major essays and shit, bro. That shit is gonna add up. Three, a lot of y'all not think about it right now. Y'all probably like, man, I'm gonna live this broke ass college life. That shit gonna suck, bro. You gonna, you gonna do something, you have to find a snack or something that you gonna survive on. But number three, for sure, save money, bro. Do not spend all your freshman year money, I mean, your uh, like gift money from people if your family, like, you know, if y'all do that shit. Don't spend all that shit, bro. And it, even when you work and save up some bread, nigga, because I'm telling you, at school, you're not working. You're going to have to buy food for yourself. You're going to have to probably likely buy books. You got to buy access code. They don't tell you about an access code. is like something when you get in the class on some whole shit. A lot of times, math do it. You get in the class just to find out that in order to complete the homeworks, you have to buy this access code in order to get to the homeworks. And then... That bitch be around probably $90. Textbooks can be $200. Bro, I'm telling you, that shit is hell. Make sure you save money up. You don't need it for just going out or just having it for food or just having it in general. Like, you never know what money, you know? Just say, just say. Now, this is where I fucked up at. Understand the loans and scholarships, bro. And housing, too. They all have deadlines. You have to really look into those, bro. Deadlines is probably like, most things ends around spring, even for like scholarships and shit. They don't end in summer and all that shit. Housing, they help you out a little bit on freshman, but if you're a transfer student, you do need to apply for housing ahead of time. Housing, most time that bitch be, man, they be fucking applying. As soon as the application open up, you probably want to get that shit done before July. 
before May, before June. Like, I would say probably get that whole done by, by at the latest May, bro. But, like, for the safer side, you probably get that more done in the spring. But, for real, with the loans and scholarships, though, they don't tell you this, like, if your parents have a certain amount of money, you're not going to get everything from the FAFSA, bro. They're not going to give you everything. Sometimes you have to pull an outside loan. You're going to have to, um... You can increase your unsubsidized and subsidized loan when you get older, but like your first year, they're not gonna let you do it. So you're gonna have to probably get an outside loan if you're not like applying for scholarships already. So the whole thing is, you really need to apply for scholarships before you even go into your freshman year, bro. There are scholarships to some schools, they give you um merit, but understand that when merit, like it's only so much they can give you, and it's probably not gonna cover everything. And then you really need to pay attention to your school too. It's private and it's public. Public is like the school for like everybody to go to. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper and all that stuff. It's still expensive, but it's cheaper than private. Private, their tuition alone is probably as much as the fucking whole tuition and fees for a public. Tuition alone. So you need to make sure you really key that stuff in. Understand that you about to get into this money game. They go on. You, you, you probably going to pay something back. Even people with scholarships pay something back. So, bruh. Understand that you gambling. Make sure you really fun, bruh. The number one thing about college you must know, time management is everything. Bro, you were about to get fucking hit with a whole bunch of assignments. You about to get hit with essays. You're about to get hit with a whole bunch of shit. You going out with your friends. You gotta go. There's a whole bunch of shit. You're alone, bruh. Like, real shit. You gotta make sure that just you you balance your time perfectly. I'm studying this shit, but you may make sure you balance your time perfectly, bro. This shit is not, it's not, for some people, it's not as easy, it's not as hard, but for, like, people like me, I don't, I don't have no problem with it, but understand that you going in there, you gonna be alone, you don't have nobody, hey, let me look at this, or hey, let me do this, no, bro, you going in there, you alone, you gotta make sure you understand, you gotta balance your homework time, your bullshit time, and times you just wanna kick it by yourself, bro. A lot of times, bro, what I do for help, my help, I try to, uh, during classes where we just sitting there and the teacher giving a lecture and it's not an important lecture or it's like some, like, some bullshit like reading or something. Cause in, high, in college, you don't really have to do like the little read over and, uh, find answers type shit. So you, most of the time you just write, you write in your English class most of the time. That's probably all your time is going to be some writing related. So realistically, when you, while you're in class, bro, it gives you time to work on shit. If you like me, you hate doing homework, you hate going home, get that feeling of going, hey, bro, do your work while you're in class, bro. You gonna probably have to pitch that time in, especially for people like to do higher hours. Like, do your work while you're in class, bro. Tell me. Time is everything, bro. That's <laughs> that's gonna add up for everything, bro. You, I've seen people want to wait last minute to do them assignments, bro, and it hurts them in the long run. Cause then you're not gonna be able to do shit. You got the oh shit, bro. I gotta go write this paper in in this amount of time. And this like you got one day for a four page paper, bro. You do not want to put yourself in that. Bro. What I would do is. Write your two pages as soon as they assign that bitch. Write one the next day and one the next day or knock that bitch out whenever you can. I'm telling you, but do not knock that hoe out. I probably give yourself three days before to turn that bitch in at the most, but I, I don't really like that. Most of the time, as soon as they assign it, I'm on that hoe. Then I can wait a little bit. Then I'll get back to it, but do not wait last minute to do your shit, bro. At the time, you never know. You fucking get this four-page essay do that night. Next thing you know, you got another one due for it. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, this shit get crazy, but... It's not as bad as you people will make it seem, though. If you balance your time correctly, I'm telling you, I'm saying it a lot because you really need to pay attention to this. If you balance your time correctly, the shit will not be that bad, bro. I'm telling you, balance it. Yeah, man, that's five main things you need to know before you fucking go to college, bro. I'm telling you, man. This stuff is serious, bro. You're gonna probably set yourself up. You gotta understand, you, this is your first time probably really being alone if you're going to college, like, as a freshman. Like... It's a big adjustment, bro. I'm telling you, you need to make sure you really know all this stuff because you have to really look at this stuff. A lot of stuff they're going to tell you. I'm trying to help y'all right now. It's the small things that some people don't say or they don't want you to know, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. College, it can be real fun, but it can be real bad at times. So, understand that you got to try to keep that balance. You're on your own for real. You got friends and stuff, but know why you don't tell everybody everything you go, everything you go through, bro. Be for real with yourself, bro. But yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. Make sure y'all tune in to these other videos, bruh. Say I'm gone. I'm out, man.